Hi, I'm James Catherall, founder of Catherall Audio. And in this video, I'm gonna talk about the new stem splitter update. So Logic 11.2 recently just dropped with a few new features. And one of the main ones that I'm gonna talk about in this video is the stem splitter update. So it's been a little over a year and they've already dropped a pretty major update and upgrade to the stem splitter. So about one year ago, I dropped a video on the stem splitter to check it out and compare it to other comparable software to see how it stacks up. You can check out that video down in the description below if you wanna see that original video. And this one, I'm gonna take those stems that I did from that original project a year ago, and I'm gonna compare them against the new stem splitter stems to see how much it's improved over the last year. I'm gonna take a look at the same two songs that I had last time. These are royalty-free songs. One of them is just a fully mixed song. The other one is a fully mixed song, and it also has the original stems that I was able to download off of the website. I'm also gonna have a link down in the description that's gonna have all of these stems for you to download so you can really dive in and check it out for yourself because I'm not going to play each individual stem from beginning to end. We're just going to check out little spots on them and see how they've improved. So let's take a listen to them. And for all of this, I'd highly suggest wearing headphones so you can really hear all of the details that we're going to be listening for. So here's the project with all of the stems already split up that I did ahead of time. Before we take a listen, let's talk about some of the updates to the stem splitter. So here's my original mixed song up here at the top. If I two finger tap that, but the very top, I can access the stem splitter. So right off the bat, we notice they've added two new tracks to the stem splitter. You can now get a separate guitar track and a separate piano track, which used to all just be combined into the other category. So up here at the top, we also have this preset area with a few different options. All it really does is speed up your process of checking boxes that you wanna have checked and unchecking boxes that you don't wanna have checked. So if I click acapella, all it does is uncheck all of the other boxes and check the vocals and that's it. So maybe a little bit helpful and a little bit of a time saver, but not really that useful overall. But there is a new option at the bottom that I actually do think is pretty useful called submixes. What this allows you to do is only check certain instruments that you wanna be combined into a new submix and remove certain things. So maybe if you want only an instrumental track without the vocals, then I can click here where there's the three dots and then I can uncheck the vocals, hit done, and then check this box right here. And if I hit apply, now it's gonna create a new file for me that just excludes the vocals, but includes everything else in it. And it's still just one file instead of splitting it out into separate stems. Now let's take a listen to the stems. One of the first things I noticed that stood out the most as a huge improvement is the separation of each of the stems and the lack of bleed between the different instruments. One of the things I noticed the most in the old stem splitter is a lot of the tracks still had a lot of bleed from the drum track. So even on the vocals by themselves, you could hear a lot of drums in the vocals. So let's take a listen to those stems. Up here at the top in the red is everything from the new stem splitter in 11.2. Let's listen to the vocals. I feel the desire to conquer the world. Now let's take a listen to the vocals from the old stem splitter. So this is from Logic Pro version 11. I feel the desire to conquer the world. Please. So already huge difference. You can hear all those artifacts in the sounds, all of that upper sort of like clicky, almost like distorted type of sound. Plus you can pretty clearly hear the drum track inside of that vocal file. So already to me, that just blew me away when I downloaded this and gave it a listen of hearing that huge difference just from that vocal separation of being able to really clearly separate out everything else besides just the vocals. Now let's listen to some of the other stems that I also think have a pretty big difference. Let's listen to the bass stem. So here's from the new stem splitter. So we can hear how clear that is compared to the old stem splitter. If you're listening to that with headphones, you could probably hear all of the drums that are still leaking into that stem and even some of the vocals. You can hear a little bit of vocals in that stem separation. One of the other things that I notice as well as a big difference is when the instrument isn't playing. So like here on this bass track, there's still a lot of bleed happening on this track. If I push play, we can listen to it. So once again, you need headphones really to hear all those little details, but you can hear the vocals and the drum track bleeding into this bass stem split. Whereas if I go to the same spot in the new stem splitter, it's gonna be complete silence. 
So they've made a huge upgrade to the algorithm. So now you can get a really clean and clear stem from your fully mixed song. So that way, if you want a bass track, you're truly getting just the bass track without a lot of bleed of drums and vocals and any other things messing it up and getting it all muddy. So let's take a listen to some of the other stems from this song. So this song didn't have a guitar track, but it does have a piano. So let's take a listen to the piano. So once again, a really clear stem without any other bleed. I don't hear any drums in there. I don't hear any vocals. I hear just piano and that's all I want. And then the last one is gonna be the other, which is just anything that doesn't fit in the other five categories, being the vocals, drums, bass, guitar, and piano. So anything else is gonna go here, which for this song is mostly synth type of stuff and other type of audio effects. So now real quick, let's just put both of those together, the piano and the other, and listen to a small snippet of it from the new stem splitter. Now let's compare that to the old stem splitter, which is gonna contain the same things. It has that piano track and this other track combined into one. So there it is directly compared. And once again, you can kind of hear overall, it's just a muddier stem that has a lot of other things messing with it. That isn't just the clear piano and synth track put together. So there's just a quick look at the new updated stem splitter in Logic Pro 11.2. I was really blown away by the progress this thing has made and how much better it sounds in just one year. I knew it was going to get better over time, but I didn't realize they would make such big leaps in such a short amount of time on the algorithm that splits out all of these stems. So once again, I'm going to have a link in the description where you can go and download all of these individual stems yourself so you can really dive in and listen to it on your own and really form your own opinion on it. And that's it for this video. If you got this far and you enjoyed it, I would really appreciate it if you left a like. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one.